the very first jam of Mount Militia. This is Rick Sanders, the Compass. Danny Dodger. And we have 102 in that lead.
starting this game with a lot of big hits, and I anticipate we're going to see a lot more as this game goes on. We have a timeout for Rick the City. Rick the City, this is the teams get a total of two timeouts each, I believe. Skating and doing. Whether they're taking their skates off and massaging their feet or whether they're, you know, doing Would you massage their feet? I wouldn't massage their feet. I might massage my own feet. Yeah. Here we go. And another quick scrum start off the line there. Lee Chemical for Mount Militia. Helter Skelter. Helter Skelter. It's a bit of a tiny but mighty. Jenny Georgia makes it out of there. I know her quite well. She's uh, actually done her time for the 25 laps. It's 3.43. That is incredible. Gets four points for Mount Militia. It just goes to show you, you can have the fastest legs in the world, but... Still going to make a pretty yeah. good pack. That is incredible. Jenny yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, to participate in Roller Derby, there is a minimum skills test that you have to, you have to pass every year to prove that you are safe to skate, that you're not going to, to needlessly harm others on the track. Only legitimately harm others on the track. And if have you over there taking the lead jam in this one. Fellow Dominator jamming in the militia. Oh, and it's a cut major for Anna Peggy over hitting so spin. There is no lead jam. And we are heading into a power jam now. For Mount Militia. Strong work there from the, from the convicts. Yeah. Except here, apparently. 
We got, we got the guy at the house door. Tim Mac, everything on the map for us. We were like, where can we get fast food? <laughs> Unofficial timeout and the start of the next jam. Lady Crunchable up against Beatrix Smitto. Crunchable also plays for Hamilton, Robocool. Is that correct? Yes. I'm pretty sure I've played up against her. She's another hard hitting derby player. Yeah, leave me to help. <laughs> oh, there we go. Both jammers collecting points on that one. Wow, brilliant job. That's why she's full crunch ball. <laughs> <laughs> and the for the new Wellington men's role to be late. Yes, one time I played Jimmy. <laughs> Did you play Jimmy one time? <laughs> you might not believe this, but one time I played Jimmy. Now Melissa, Helter Scouter getting Lee Jammer again. Up against Volcanic Ash. She's gone for Rachel. Like to remind you that there is a raffle on. The more tickets you buy, the more oh, there man. is to win. I see some Sugar Gorilla fans over there. Some very imaginative t-shirt work. Very nice. Sugar? Sugar Gorilla. Oh, that's right. Cut their t-shirts up. That looks great. Lots of noodles. Don't forget as well, you can purchase toffee apples. Bella Dominator. Some real speed on these ladies. These are some fast pets we've seen. I do believe they call that one a hit and quit. Brilliant job. See this riff right here? Man is. Doing some great yep. outside pet work there. I know, a big dark secret about him. He is too. There we go. I'm going to have 229. Go to the box. I do here. I, as well as M155, this my fellow mister. All right, City Pongas. I, uh, I, I have heard it on. on I, I have heard. Southern Hemisphere. Yep, I can hear it from my own. <laughs> when she sees you off, <laughs> you know about it. Calling it. Going off the jam. And if 
It's been cool. Yeah, I'm a bit slow, but I'll get it at the end. Points for everyone in that game. And we have a timeout called by Melissa. And Melissa taking a timeout there. So how long do they get for their own personal timeout? Um, I think it's a minute. Just five minutes left in this half. Five minutes is a long time and dirty time. Here we go, there's so on the in the pack for the convicts we've got Sugar Gorilla. I believe that the the game we just saw before this piece out was her first ever game. She popped her cherry, her bout cherry tonight with you people. Awesome. Doing a great, great job of just some incredible blue booty blocking. What a, what a way to start your derby career. I always love to help people just pop their cherries. Popping their bow cherries. Let's see who have we got here. Armageddon, Lee Jammer from the Convex. Also in their Convex pack we've got Miss. As I think I said before, she's on her third travel season. And you've got uh, Storm. Storm in a beat cup. Another amazing booty really blocker here. Both these teams with our jammers. We have uh, Pusha Jammer having a hard time getting through. Really hard time just yeah. trying to make that initial pass. Once you make that initial pass, you can force the other jammer to pull, oh, pull it off. The girls are amazing. Really great. I thought sucking the baby. <laughs> Suck in the Eat the baby. Eat the baby. Eat the baby when you just. Yeah, that's disgusting. Suck that jammer back into the pan. It, it can be dissolved for you. Think you're out. And then you go. And again, I'm making another Grand Slam five-point pass for the Rich City Combat. Bella Dominator really having a tough time on there. Gets makes it out of the pack. And... Sink for penalty. To the bin. That makes it an official power jam. You see everyone for the skating backwards. Because they, they want to take that jammer as far back as possible, make it cover even more trees. Finishing there with another three
lovely people up here on my left in orange and wheat. Was well, that your real hair? Yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful team spirit in here. You guys said before, we've got, a, we've got a couple of skaters here from the convicts who have some family ties in Colorado who have managed to convince their families to, um, to come and on today. Andrew Skidder taking the lead down to there. Up against Crunchable again, and Crunchable makes it through the pack. Wow. Smashing Ash out of the way. The great gem, isn't it? She's been sick. And sent to the bin. I suspect 
for a high block. Everybody's on their feet in those numbers. As we're waiting for a jammer. Sit down. She can't. Let's remind you that until she sends her bum off the seat, the other jammer cannot be released. And she took her sweet time about it. Miss Crushable. Taking Fingerwood back onto the track. Now, unless you go into the big end.
and Melissa there uh, doing a great job of splitting up the only two blockers on the track that Rick City have right now.
Now the Lesher, of course, trying to get as many jams in as possible to get as many points as they can in these next two and a half minutes of derby. And in the final game. We've still got one more game after this, ladies and gentlemen. We've still got Mount Militia versus Bay City Rollers. In just over eight minutes, Army get it. Makes it out of the pack, gets full lead. A beautiful jump onto the inside there by Pegasus. Yeah, go off, play by yourself. It's okay. It's a definitely a different type of jamming to the presuming kind, isn't it? Not a lot of a lot of aprons here. God, I hate being on this side. What? I hate being on this side. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. It's been two weeks, so I'm not broken. So uh, he's not very happy about sitting on the side of the table, but he's, uh, he's biting his tongue. Oh, I know. He's biting his tongue. He's biting his tongue. He's, he's calling calls with the referees. Twin. Twin legs. It's that Twin legs. It's sort of the handicap table. It's the, um, the disadvantage that we were at a non-skating table. <laughs> The straight on here who had over, fell over and broke his knee in two places. Due what a, a serious injury. Yeah. Due to a little bit of injury, we've got a couple of wound boots. We've got matching boots. It's just a man injury. Matching wound boots, but he was a little bit of a man cry. Here we go. Everybody's on their feet. And Melissa are going to try and get this jam started. The skating up there trying to break that pack and get this jam started. They want these points. Here we go at 10. 1080 is up against the Gold Panagas. 1080 is out and pulled as we gather. This will possibly be the last jam. It might only be one more. Let's make Ladies and gentlemen, if you come to support these teams, now is your last chance to make some noise. Especially, this is the last jam of the night for the convicts. Let's make some noise for them, people! And our host, Mount Militia, putting up an amazing fight of derby. Here we go. No, that's Can't game. play. Will there be one more jam? No, they can't. They want one. Everyone oh. wants one. We've got a timeout, ladies and gentlemen. That means that we can possibly go to one more jam. Basically, they're all in the corner. They're ready to take on down on this ship. That was close. The ref wasn't paying attention. Let's see what happens here. Amazing what you can get away with in just seven seconds left on the clock. <laughs> now it's a full There's a bit of dancing there on the jam line, that's what we like to see. A bit of self entertainment during the timeout. So this game can go for another two minutes. Out to two, two more. We missed the lead jammer calls it off the corner. Let's see what happens. I always think of these last two games and just want to keep going. <laughs> you just want to keep going. Oh, that's brilliant. Two minutes doesn't seem like a long time to get up on there. When you are jamming, it can seem like a long time. Yeah, then one time I played derby. 
Trey Bell played Doobie one time. He was a jet. This one time when he played Doobie. And I stole his nose. Yeah, he stole my nose. Here we go. Pegasus. Hits. 